Hi Aquarius, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-June general reading. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in an Aquarian, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Aquarius, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Aquarius, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Aquarius, how are you? I love y'all so much. Thank you always for your love and support. Again, this is your mid-June general reading. We're doing a nine card spread that's past, present, and future energy. And y'all know the drill, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Again, for mid-June, we're still in Gemini season. Fellow air to you, fellow air energy. Aquarius. All right, loves, let's see what's going on. All right, we've got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Seven of Pentacles, full card. Yeah, y'all are gaining momentum, uh, gaining some type of courage, if you will, talking yourself into something that you've been planning on. Like, I feel like you've been putting um, a plan, something, that, a seed that you planted on the back burner, and you're like, okay, I'm not going to avoid this anymore. And whatever that is will initiate a new beginning, full card for you to take a leap of faith or for someone to take a leap of faith towards you. Someone's working up the courage here. Fire energy, feeling very brave, okay? Two of Cups, Seven of Cups, Page of Swords. Someone's watching you or someone's watching a connection you're in. All right, Spirit, what's been in the recent past for Aquarius? What in the heck? What in the heck is that? Major betrayal. Ten of swords. No wonder you have the knight of wands because you're like, that's it. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Ten of swords and the ten of wands, the two heavier tens. Uh, you're so done. You were in the recent past. There's a situation you in, or, or, were in or are in or multiple Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, where you were way over giving, making all the plans, making all the, putting everything together, doing all the work at work, doing all the work in a relationship, like way all of the pressure, all of the weight, the physical responsibility and the mental responsibility on your shoulders, way too much. Recent past Aquarius, Queen of Cups, Nine of Wands, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. For a lot of you, there's a relationship that you're in, a connection could be romantic. It could be, you know, parent-child relationship. It could be a friendship, a connection that you're in, Nine of Wands. You are on major burnout energy, major burnout. I'm hearing I couldn't hold on. I couldn't do it all. Something felt very one-sided and like, I can't. What's the current energy here? What's currently going on for Aquarius, please, Aquarius. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, male or female, strong masculine to the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Cups. There's a situation, either a, a connection you're in or something creative that you do, an art, a skill, a trade, something that you do where you've been putting all of your eggs in that basket. It's felt like no matter if to you, I'm hearing you say it doesn't matter what I do, it's not enough. King of Pentacles, 
currently King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, you're reestablishing boundaries within yourself. You're redefining your own worth right now. And for a lot of you, Four of Cups is you're going to start looking at other cups, other options here, okay? That might strike a new beginning. Like a lot of you are, are like fed up with being like the sole provider in a situation. Something, and whatever this is, whatever you've been dealing with, Knight of Pentacles is saying you've been doing this for a long time. And that's also a reason why you're so tired. I want to say for a lot of you, it feels like you're the only responsible one, no matter who you're connected to, if that makes sense. Like you're more responsible than your parents. You might be more responsible than people older than me, than you. And maybe that's not the case, but that's how you feel right now. You feel betrayed by you being the only one. I know you're heir, but you're also for some reason this king of pentacles, male or female watching. Like you own your stuff. You know, you know your worth and there's something just been digging at you. What's coming in for Aquarius? Also, before we see the, the last three, for some of you, you might be really done with some kind of connection or just taking like a break and you might get like some money, an investor for like a business, just more money in general. And that might, might make you, um, four of cups, look at other options in your situation. Like some type of financial security is coming in near future for Aquarius, please. Oh yeah, very good. Okay, Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning coming in, something that you're gonna be very, very excited. Aces talk about opportunities. You've already dropped all 10, so there's something that you're gonna pick up again. It's like cleaning the closet out. If you're gonna buy new clothes, you probably need to get rid of some first, right? Otherwise, you're gonna be overstuffed, overpacked. New we have in the near future, Ace of Wands, King of Cups, a renewal or an exciting new beginning with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have the soulmates, the soulmates, uh, king and queen of cups are my soulmates on the table. And there's a victory here, six of wands. There's a win, there's a victory, there's a success. Four of wands at the bottom of the deck, three of pentacles, nine of cups, very good. I feel for a lot of you in some type of probably partnership, relationship, commitment that you're in. You've had enough. You're like, you know what? I do all the things. I make all the planning. I put it all together. I do all the things. Um, a lot of you could be a sole provider. I keep hearing that or it feels like that. Even if not sole provider financially, you feel like the sole provider provider emotionally for the people around you. Like a free, like a free counselor or therapist for everyone around you. And that's not always fair to you. A lot of you King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, like, hey, well, I'm kind of annoyed with this situation over here. Uh, I'm going to put it on the back burner and I'm going to go travel. I'm going to go spend some money. I'm going to go treat myself. Like they showed me treat yourself from Parks and Rec. Yes, Tom and Donna. Yes. Um, it's just like, you know what? Y'all might like purchase a new bag or buy a new house or a new car because you already have the funds, King of Pentacles, to do whatever this is to kind of shake things up and like, emotionally or energetically for you and as you do that as you kind of step out of focusing on a connection and kind of pull back into reality get back to you um something with finances is coming in it kind of stirs the energy a little bit for a new beginning or a re-established beginning with king and queen of cups you and some type of partner here okay It will turn out to be a victory. I feel like for a lot of you, you're gonna be like, I'm glad that I did that. I'm glad that we took a break. I'm glad that I walked away and worked, looked over here so that this situation could come back together. Four of Wands. All right, let's go deeper and see more about what this is about. I feel like this is pretty intense. I've already pre-shuffled and cut this for you. We have the Magician at the bottom of the deck. Empress, full card, Seven of Wands, the Sun. It's like for a lot of you, you're trying to find the best of, of both worlds. Like you want to be happy in your career and in your relationships. You know what I mean? And some, like one of the two of them has been on overload. 
I feel like your social life, the cups, the relationships, the connections. What's well, this Ten of Swords in the recent past? Betrayal, feeling stabbed in the back. Not wanting to talk or communicate with a person or in a situation any longer. What is this for Aquarius? Why is the Ten of Swords here? <clears throat> yeah, I had to clear my throat on that one. Seven of Swords. You're done with Seven of Swords. You know people are lying to you, not telling you the truth. Or a version of yourself is like, you know what? I know that I'm not telling the truth about this part of me in the situation. So I need to come straight with myself. It can go both ways. Ace of Cups. What's this Ten of Swords for Aquarius, please? Yeah. Queen of Cups again. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy who we're, who we're about to talk about. But she overall represents my relationships and connections. How you feel towards someone, how they feel towards you. And we have the Two of Swords. Something has kept you up at night and it's, it, it feels like you're not getting what you want out of a connection. You're not getting the emotional support. You're not getting the, the, the words that you want to hear from somebody. So part of you goes, fine, I will dip out. Maybe I don't need this after all, Two of Swords. You're like, I don't know what the answer is. I don't know what to do, but I know I don't like this. I know I don't like feeling like I'm staying up late at night, feeling anxiety about somebody else and what, and what they're not doing. What's this 10 of wands in the recent past? I mean, five of wands, six of pentacles. What did I say? conflict about who's giving what okay well i do this well i do that well i give here well i give there competition with you and someone you and the boss you and a friend you and a partner you and a family member whatever moon card arguing and fighting about who gives who's the provider well i do this well i do that well i do this so there's been backlash on when you communicate hey i don't like this i don't feel good i feel like a lot's on my shoulders Whoever you're dealing with backlashes right at you. Woo! Ten of wands, and that's why we're going to get one more, but that's why you're like, you know what? I'm done. And maybe not done forever, but done for now. Ten of wands. What is this for? for uh, I almost said Capricorn, so maybe you could be done with a Capricorn for Aquarius. Why the ten of wands, please? No cards came out. Some of y'all are done with someone's silence or silent treatment. Again, not getting the right type of communication that you deserve in a situation. Ten of Wands. Let's get one more for Aquarius, please. Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. You can't be the only one. It can't be one-sided. You've been doing it again. I, I, Knight of Pentacles, we talked about this and it came out again. The, the Knight of Pentacles talks about a path that's been going on for a long time or that will continue to go on for a long time. Whatever the situation is about, you've been in it for a very long time, probably several years. Queen of Cups, let's look at it. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, my relationship, my connection card. Why is this here for Aquarius? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Six of Swords, King of Wands, King of Swords, Three of Swords. If the person you've been dealing with, the family member, the partnership, the relationship, the friend, whatever that is, it's like ultimatum time. It's like Queen of Cups. You love or you're in this already so invested, but if this person doesn't love and care and, and, and want to reciprocate whatever it is that they're not reciprocating, Six of Swords, you go, bye. Getting in my boat, getting out of conflict with whatever this BS has been, not getting what you deserve basically in a situation, and moving towards higher ground. King of swords, king of wands. So I'm going to go, fine. You don't want me. You don't want to work with me. You don't want to deal with me. You don't want to be my friend. You don't want to be my partner because I've done it all. Cool, fine. Bye. You got two other kings right in front of you. Next. Is it going to hurt? Mm-hmm. You and them? Mm-hmm. But you know what you got to do. 
current energy, I don't say queen of pentacles, king of pentacles, Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. This is you also owning something, having a lot of abundance in something, but also could be dealing with an earth sign here or some type of investor. What's this King of Pentacles for Aquarius, please? Emperor. Page of Swords. Justice. King of Cups. So many kings. And the King of Cups is also down here. So this is someone I feel like has been watching on the sidelines. Someone who either knows you really well. I'm hearing family or family friend. Someone who's been watching your situation from a distance. They're the ones that want to come make things right with you. It's like, you're like, cool, I'm going to tell this person I'm out, this situation I'm out. And as you move forward, yes, other opportunities come towards you in finances, in friends, in connections, in love. Who's this King of Cups for you? Nine of Wands, Judgment, Page of Wands, someone that you've dealt with before. A small group of you could be turning to an old place where you used to work, a location, or working for a boss again. Like re-signing a contract and work is what I feel. And now that you have that money, that support, that those finances, you feel more better, you feel better in your situation. But for a lot of you, there's a masculine stepping in that's been watching from the sidelines who knows how to bring justice into the situation. What would the justice be? Hermit, world, five of swords, apologizing for what they for why they pulled back from you in the past. What's this Knight of Pentacles current energy? Something very steady. Okay, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy, the Moon, Pisces, Cancer, and the Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Someone has either a bright idea for you or you have a bright idea for them. I don't know why I'm saying bright because the Moon is out. A lot of you, ooh, it's about a dream for a lot of you. A lot of you, pay attention to your dreams. You might get some kind of answer, download, message, vision in your dream state that'll give you an answer to something you need. It'll give you the courage to move on. Why is the hermit here on your Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles? When you do some soul searching and pull back, you know that someone owes you an apology and you know that you've been putting more energy into something, so you put less energy into it. If that makes sense. For a lot of you, like, if I'm going to move forward in the situation, I'm going to put, <clears throat> <clears throat> I know this is hard to say, but it's like energetically, or you might be like, you know what, I'm going to do less. You can show me blah, 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 that you want to be my friend, that you want to be my partner, that you want to work with me, that you want to whatever. As you pull back your energy, of course, where's Aquarius? Where'd they go? What's it about? Because now four of cups, people who used to fill their cup are missing you because you're not giving energetically, financially, whatever, as much as you used to. So it's like crickets. You're like, where's Aquarius at? So people around you or someone you're dealing with is noticing the absence or the withdrawal of you or your energy because you can't take it anymore. Four of cups. Why is this here for Aquarius current energy? This is you like, mm, maybe I will look over there. Maybe I will entertain this other idea. Yeah, uh, six of wands, three of wands, um, queen of wands, ace of pentacles, page of wands. You're basically playing catch up. A lot, everything that you've been putting on the back burner while you've been taking care of this other situation, you're finally coming back to that. I've been putting this off. I've been putting that date off. I've been, I haven't called that person back yet da, 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 because I've been da, 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 for something else or someone else. It was way off. So we're coming back into balance. And this is also queen of wands giving you confidence. It's like you feel really good when you play catch up on the things that have um, been kind of on the back burner in your life. That's what this is. And you're going to feel really proud of yourself. Some of you might find some money is what I heard. What's this Ace of Wands? I'm hearing Lucky Strike, brand new beginning, something really hot. What's this new beginning coming in for Aquarius, please? I am hearing it's hot. 
Two of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Four of Cups, King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're about to be really, really, really busy. You've been really busy. You've been really overwhelmed. Whatever this new beginning is, it's like you're going to stay in something. Nine of Wands. You're going to stay in the marriage. You're going to stay in the commitment. You're going to stay in whatever it is. You had to pull your energy back. It's like absence made the heart grow fonder. If like you're in a marriage or relationship and it's been go, go, go and everything's been on you, you pull your energy back. That's what's good for you. You start focusing and playing catch up on all the other errands and stuff and phone calls and delayed hangouts and stuff with friends or whatever that is to balance the scales. And now that you feel lighter on your feet, you're like, okay, cool. I'm going to stay in this. I'm going to stay committed to whatever you were committed to for most of you. On your King of Cups, you got the Two of Cups. This is a beautiful connection here. Again, there's the Knight of Wands working up the courage. So you're working up the courage to connect or reconnect with someone and or someone's working up the courage to connect or reconnect with you. What's this King of Cups? What's this King of Cups for Aquarius? I heard so much more room for activities, like from uh, Step Brothers. Um, eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. You and someone have very similar plans and ideas. Y'all think about each other a lot. And y'all both, Eight of Pentacles, want to work forward in investing and picking up the pieces here. Why is the Eight of Swords here? A lot of y'all are scared if you're reconnecting with a friend, reconnecting with a romantic person of your past. A lot of you are in your head and in fear that Five of Swords, that conflict will come back up that hasn't been resolved. Seven of Pentacles, Three of, three of Swords, Eight of Wands. Someone needs to reach out probably from a distance to make this happen. Let's look at your Six of Wands. Why is this a victory? Why is this a success? Wow. Well, that's freaking beautiful. We have the Hangman, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, the Ten of Cups, to the Four of Swords. Beautiful. Uh, Chariot, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. A lot of you are realizing um, that something that you've been involved, involved in, once you removed yourself, once you gave yourself a break, some space, did some other stuff, you reconnect with this person or in the situation and things are like, you're like, you know what? Things are okay. I can get through this. We've, we've been through harder times before. I can't believe I almost gave up on this because this is your happy place. Ten of cups. This is your person. This is your family. This is your home. You will have peace now in the situation. Four of swords. You will finally get some rest now for a lot of you. And what's the change of perspective? What's the hangman? Knight of cups because you both love each other. And or, and or if it's not about a connection, you and someone have the same like type of creative outlet. You have the same type of, you're going in the same direction, basically. It felt like y'all are going in opposite directions, but it looks like you're actually going in the same direction. You and someone might be so similar that it drives you insane sometimes, but that's also why sometimes you're a good match for this person or in this situation. A good match for the job, a good match for the person, a good match for the friend. This is general, right? All right, best of luck, Aquarius. That was a good reading. Um, let's do your pick a card. And those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Aquarius that won the pick a card this time is Morgan Vaughn. Morgan, you are my winner. Okay, so Aquarius, if you want me to pick your card next time for the pick a card, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time, I might pick you. I love y'all so much. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. All right, Morgan, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. There's one more. What are the best and highest messages for Morgan? 
Aquarius energy. Thank you. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Very abundant. Five of Wands, King of Wands. You can have people around you that are like competitive or jealous about like if you're really like successful, wealthy, abundant. Um, King of Wands, Five of Wands. Oh, I feel like you're probably really successful and there's a masculine. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they're kind of jealous or competitive, especially um, if you're a female, like that you probably make more money than them. Wah, wah. Too bad, so sad. Social conditioning is the worst, isn't it? All right, Morgan. What do we have for Morgan? Seven of Wands, Three of Wands. Lots of delays. Ooh, Five of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Okay, King of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Okay, so we're talking about this King of, sorry, King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Three of Pentacles. There's a King of Wands in your life, strong fire, or if it's not a fire sign, this masculine, male and female, strong masculine, is, uh, I have this feeling that they push you away because they're intimidated by you, either that you're successful, that you're abundant, that you have something good going in your life. This, per this person is either wants to build a life with you, either romantically, or this is like someone in your life, like a friend or a family member. Something about they push you away, it causes delays, you feel alone and sad, then they reach out and put their foot down, we're doing this, is the message. Knight of Pentacles. It's been going on for a while. Death, Hierophant. I feel like you've been off and on with someone in one way or another for quite a long time. All right, let's dig in. Let's see. What's the Seven of Wands for Morgan? Someone's very defensive here. Like, no, nah, I can do it. No. Nah. Okay, we have the Hangman, Queen of Cups. Empress death card. It's probably a connection you're in and someone someone's not treating you the way that you deserve to be treated, but they can't admit that. Maybe you're not showing up for someone in a commitment, but you can't admit that about yourself. Someone can't admit that they're not fully treating the other person with full respect is what I'm getting. Let's look at the delays. There's been some delays here. Three of Wands. Oh, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, Page of Swords, yuck, yuck. Ooh, and the Seven of Swords. Oh, lovey. Sorry, having some uh, battery issues here. Oof. The lies, the fight, the... Uh, someone, wants, someone plays games with you. Someone's playing some mental and emotional games with you. You know it and they know it. Someone leaves you on the back burner. They leave you as an option. Maybe you do that to someone, but I feel like someone's doing that to you. And when they do that, Five of Pentacles, you feel alone. Five of Pentacles, let's look at it. For Morgan, yeah, it hurts. Three of Swords. When this person lies to you and pushes you away, yeah, it hurts you. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, Death card. But you've about had enough, and I feel like if you want this new beginning, it's like you know you have to cut this person off. Like I'm getting kind of like Ace of Wands, like this person might be really attractive and that might be the main connection to them. And attraction can't be everything. Knight of Swords. So now this person has something to say that they've hurt you. Knight of Wands, full card. Okay, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Death card. This person knows they need to step it up financially, energetically, or the both. 
and they're working up the courage to do that okay this person as you as you kind of separate maybe have a break hey i don't want to deal with you i know you keep blowing me away I, if someone's throwing someone away you're like fine this hurts i'll go find something new and then this king comes back to give you something that that you deserve and then we'll end it with the king of wands okay good 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 king of wands eight of pentacles they're gonna work on it four of swords this person needs to sleep also nine of pentacles so this person's like again kind of giving you hey i want to invest i want to work harder on this but they also still have one toe out in a way, but it's not towards another person, but towards either being more independent in this connection and overcoming their abandonment issues and or this person might be starting their own business. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I feel like this person has a lot going on. Um, it makes you feel abandoned when this person um, invest in whatever else they invest in but this person's trying to make the best of both worlds make you and them happen in whatever way and still keep up their business their goals and dreams um in flow as well okay that's what i have for you if there's anyone else to hear i love y'all see you in the love reading next time bye